warning, there is going to be a dead deer in this video. If you do not want to see that, then click off this video now and watch one of our other videos. If you don't care, continue watching this video. Thank you. All right, Lambert Outdoors here, and I have always been asked how to use the butt out tool. This is the butt out tool packaging. Here it is, right here. It's pretty simple, but weird. So we, right here we have a dead white tail. Uh, um, this is a button buck. So right here we're gonna take this, and you're gonna shove it in the dead animal. Twist it, okay? And then pull it. Right there. That's how you use the butt out. Get your butt out of here. We're here to talk about the butt out. Now with the butt out, you get three different reactions. You love it, you hate it, or you've never used it and you don't know. That's that's the three different reactions you get from this. Now, I have used this tool extensively. Uh, I would say this, this tool has been in the butt of probably mm, 10 different deer, okay? At least, at least 10 different deer, uh, if not more. This is the butt out tool, this is the butt out two. This is the field dressing tool. Um, the butt stop removes the guesswork. Extra length for cleaner, easier use. Uh, easy to use, simply insert, twist, and pull. Great for deer, hogs, antelope, and bear. I did not know that about the bear. Uh, I shot three pigs two years ago. Um, they were wild feral pigs. I didn't even um, gut them. Basically, I just... I was in the middle of the woods. I took the back straps and then the front legs and the back legs, and that was it. So, um, depending on how big the, the animal is and what you're gonna be doing. All right, I'm going to read the directions and then I'm gonna tell you how I use it. And then I'm going to tell you some things that you don't need to do um, because you don't need to make the same mistakes that I have. So step one, lay the harvested deer on its side, insert the butt out into the anal canal, the butthole. Uh, making sure the butt stop is flush against the canal. This. Push this all the way up against the butt cheeks. As far as it'll go. Twist the handle until you feel it grab the membrane. Uh, then twist it one half more. So you start twisting this thing, obviously you're going to have some resistance. I mean, it's in something. So you just twist it, probably one twist total, okay? And then step three, steadily pull the butt out, just like you saw in the video. Uh, out of the anal cavity. Do not jerk it. Extract about 10 to 12 inches of membrane. Tie it off and cut it. The deer can now be placed on its back and you can continue field dressing as normal. You may insert the butt out, flush to the butt stop, twist until you feel it, grab the membrane and twist it one half more. Pull out the anal area bulges. You can opt to make your cut now with normal field dressing procedures. So, uh, basically, if you use this product for my guy that I take my deer to, um, and then you don't have to cut out the whole thing and uh, basically carve up or chip out the bone and split the back legs. You don't need to do that. This suffices. I mean, you're going to take out the uh, uh, everything from the inside is going to come out. Okay. So, uh, some things that I wish I would not have done starting out. Uh, this has knife marks all over it. I'm trying to see. See if you can see them there. See them? So that is from the membrane getting stuck on there and me taking my knife and try to cut it off. It's pretty easy. You just, if you, so you don't have to cut up your thing. You just simply pull off one side and then the rest will kind of like fall off. Um, if you if you're wearing gloves or something like that, um, it's pretty pretty handy that way. Uh, you can see this has like sharp edges right there, and then squared off edges right here. Um, so you just pull it down past these ones, and then it'll loosen up pretty easily to pull off. Um, this is pretty cheap. I mean, we're talking like less than fifteen bucks. This is Hunter, Hunter Specialties makes this product um and it says serious hunting tools but it's literally like i don't know why i, under, I don't understand why people hate this like do they think that you're going to contaminate the meat you're pulling out everything 
that you're going to pull out and you're going to field or you're going to cut it up, process it probably the next day. You're not going to contaminate the meat. And there's no poop staining in there. There's no urinary stuff in there because you're going to pull all that out through the top. So I don't understand why people hate this. Why do you hate this, people? What's going on? But we're going to show the video again. All right. And uh, like this video, subscribe, share the video so more people use this product. I mean, it's simple, it's easy. And if you are a deer processor, do you hate this product? Leave that in the comments below. Because I asked my guy and he's like, I don't care. I don't care one way or another. You're the one doing it. So if you're a deer processor, do you hate this? And let me know your opinion of it. And also share this video, share the channel. That's how the channel grows. And thank you for everything and God bless. All right, Lambert Outdoors here. And I have always been asked how to use the butt out tool. This is the butt out tool packaging. Here it is right here. It's pretty simple, but weird. So we, right here we have a dead white tail. Uh, um, this is a button buck. So right here we're gonna take this, and you're gonna shove it in the dead animal, twist it, okay, and then pull it. Right there. That's how you use the butt out. 